And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for June 15th. Nothing is active around the world today, so that makes a change. It's the first time that there's been no significant cyclone, or at least the first time that we may be looking at an extended period of no cyclones active since the early part of May. Day 167 of the year so far, day 15 in the Atlantic, nothing even on the horizon here. There is one or two outside chances of tropical development in the northern part of the Atlantic later on, but um, not confident enough yet. In the eastern Pacific, day 32, we've marked a 10% area in the uh, eastern Pacific. Not official, but that is what's out there right now. Could potentially develop later on. And a 20% chance for a system that is eventually going to make its way towards the northern part of uh, just north of Palau and then off towards the northwest. No systems active in the southern hemisphere. The 2019-20 Southwest Indian Ocean will be the first of the southern hemisphere seasons to get its animation on June 19th. Looking at the North Atlantic then, because there's no storms active, we'll skip right over that. This is a look, the latest look at the North Atlantic. A few thunderstorms blowing up from some convection, a disturbance in the uh, Central Caribbean, Western Caribbean, moving up towards Cuba. So that's delivering a lot of thunderstorms, some of it extending out towards the Gulf of Mexico as well. Uh, but generally looking pretty quiet and as you can see, very disorganized, certainly not in relation to a tropical cyclone, that's just thunderstorms brewing. The Eastern Pacific, you can see there as well, looking fairly quiet for the time of year. Usually we're seeing the first storm starting up round about now. Now we've got that 10% chance but uh, models really not looking at development properly until next week um, so I think that 10% is about right for that particular system that could develop and in the Western Pacific 20% for that area of interest disturbances currently south of Guam uh, moving on towards Palau now 20% chance in the Philippine Sea on that becoming a weak short-lived tropical cyclone uh, and that's all it would be if it ever did form the remnants of Nuri already gone. As I said last time, they were going to go real quick and they've gone. In the South Pacific, not much going on here. Uh, a few areas, blobs of convection, uh, displaced further east this time around towards uh, the Samoan Islands. And in the Indian Ocean, generally monsoonal across the whole region. India, of course, central and northern parts there, a lot of rainfall and a hub of activity going on in the Arabian Sea and on the other side over Thailand. Sea surface temperatures today are fairly warm, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius in the main area of the eastern Pacific that will look for those early storms. The Atlantic still recovering after Cristobal, but almost there now. Um, but no areas of 30 degrees in the Atlantic as far as I can see there. The Indian Ocean, slight cool down a little bit because of the uh, monsoonal pattern. And over in the western Pacific, a bit of disruption there in the South China Sea after Nuri and in the Philippine Sea, getting a little bit disrupted there as well actually. Um, sea surface temperatures not quite as hot as they were, but make no mistake, those sea surface temperatures are more than good enough and above average for most of those areas. The only region that's really not above average is that uh, La Nina area there in the tropical eastern Pacific and in the subtropical Atlantic. Uh, you should note that one as well. On this day, June the 15th, 1991, might not look like much on the screen, but Tropical Storm Yunya was a Category 3 and made landfall as a tropical storm, I believe. Um, was moving over the Philippines as one at any rate, but it also coincided with the catastrophic eruption of Mount Pinatubo uh, in the western part of Luzon. Uh, there is an animated loop of that volcano erupting as the remnants, as Yunya was weakening. I uh, shouldn't say remnants, but it really made Yunya look like remnants when that did indeed happen. For those who haven't found out yet, Force 13 has launched in the Philippines today to commemorate that, a new regional channel which is now available on Facebook. Search Force 13, F13PH is the short lingo term there. The next name in the Atlantic is Dolly in the Eastern Pacific, it will be Boris. The Central Pacific's next name is Hone. In the Western Pacific, Sinlaku is next up. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on the new list. The first of many of the new lists is Gatti. In the Southern Hemisphere, in the Australian region, the next name is Imogen. 
in the southwest Indian Ocean, it would be Kundai if it's in the next two weeks, and in Fiji, it's Yolanda. That's all for now, we'll have another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.